All right, people. There's something that I need to do. And I hope you're going to be all right with it. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, it's taken a few days, but we're finally back in Helgen. Is this our welcome in committee? Hello. Hello there. decided to try this Explorer's Guild armor. I don't really like it. I mean, I think it looks all right on me, but I prefer it at least, at the very least, the museum armor. All right, let's see where these men are. way. said to return in 24 hours it's probably been more like 72 or more we got tied up with some other things but here we are ah yes we've been waiting for you i bet now that you're here we have a matter of grave importance to discuss with you uh oh so you really think this nonsensical plan of yours will work Val? janice it has to work we have no choice now then reporting as ordered sir Good. That armor looks good on you, too. <laughs> well, it itches. And it stinks. It's had mm -hmm. a dead man in it. What do you expect? So, now that we're all here... What is Valerius, this all about? Would you like to fill in our friend on your plan? Did you ever stop to wonder how my men and I came to this place? No. No. Well, yes, but that's not all of it. Up until a couple of weeks ago, we were still in Cyrodiil. And our sources began reporting on new Thalmor activity taking place south of here. Rumor was that they were turning an old fort into a prison for captured Talos worshippers. And I deemed the reports credible enough to investigate. I sent my best man, Korst, on the mission. He was ordered not to confront them, but to observe only. Unfortunately, he did not return, and I'm afraid something went very wrong. And how long has he been missing? About two weeks. After one week went by, we'd started to fear the worst. So we mobilized and came here. Finding Korst is the main reason we're here. This fort gave us the perfect spot to rest, resupply, and prepare to find out what happened to him. So, we eliminated the bandits, took over the fort, and tried to blend in and not draw attention to ourselves. All right, and Marka said you have a plan. Yes. Fortunately, the Imperials left everything behind when they abandoned this place. It looks like Ellen when herself was here. She was. But what does that have to do with your plan? I need you to pose as an Imperial officer with oh, orders to boy. transfer Korst back to Ellen when for interrogation. Legion prisoner transfer parties always travel in groups of three, so Falco and Sienna will be going with you. As you can see, they're already in Imperial uniform, and you must do the same if this has any chance of working. We found some officer's armor that should fit you, and Alton put a little enchantment on it for you. It's only worn by high-ranking officers, so it should help you carry a bit more influence. If you have any other powers of persuasion, this would be the time to use them. 
Perhaps between the two it will be enough for this to work. And what about the transfer order from Ellen Wynn? While searching the fort, we found a communique from her own hand, and were able to forge a transfer order to give to the men at the prison. If the Thalmor officers question you, remind them you're a special envoy from the Embassy, and they had best comply. Hopefully it'll be enough, but if not, you may have to resort to the old-fashioned way of negotiating. This prison surely is heavily guarded. Yes, it certainly will be, and make no mistake. Those Thalmor bastards are beyond brutal. And I've heard there's a particularly ruthless justice here named Arendelle who may be in charge there. If it's the Arendelle I know, you can be certain he will kill you on sight, so you must be careful. If Korst is alive, rest assured, we'll bring him back. Thank you, friend. You know, Marcus seems to be quite impressed with you. And well, if he trusts you, then I trust you. The prison is located south of here, on the road past Fort Newgrad, heading to the Cyrodiil border. Here, I'll mark it on your map. Here's your armor. Don't forget to put it on. Please return as soon as you can, and good luck. Thank you. All right, Imperial Officer Armor, after I Spent all this money getting Explorer's Guild armor. Let's see what we've got here. Oh. Um, it, this, uh, this doesn't work with the boots I've got. Y'all don't have boots for me. Doesn't work with these either. I I cannot believe the only thing you brought me is the curious. All right, I'm I'm gonna have to get some some armor. This is ridiculous. I think I'm working with a bunch of amateurs. All right, um, well, let's go. Here we are at Molen Lab. All right, Amran. What can I get for you? You need to you wake go me on up. Ahead. Okay. You be on lookout. All right, the rest of you. Let's go on in. I hope I look like an imperial I don't feel like one let's go who are you oh. what do you want this is a prisoner transfer to cell block 1138 in the embassy here are your orders what we'll see about this I haven't been notified of any such orders I'll have to clear this with my superior Wait here. My lord, there... Better get ready.
envoy here who appears to have orders for a prisoner transfer from Ellenwyn herself. What should I do? <laughs> hmm, this looks in order. <laughs> but I'll handle this. Come with me. I'm sorry. I haven't been given any orders concerning any transfer. I'm not able to release the prisoner at this time. I am an Imperial officer and a special envoy from the Embassy. Perhaps. Or perhaps not. Either way, I've received no orders from my commander, Erendil, so the prisoner stays here. Where is Arendil right now? Can I speak with him? Certainly not. He is away on official Thalmor business. What and where is none of your concern. Do you think he would be pleased if you disobeyed his orders? No, of course not. What is your point? What if he's at the embassy and convinced Ellen when to issue this order? He would not do that. He would simply issue the order himself. Besides, how would you know such things? This order comes from the top. That is all I can say, but... But what? Do you know what it means to be a special envoy? It means you have clearance and access to classified intelligence and conduct special operations on behalf of your dying empire. Of course I know that. And has an Imperial Envoy ever carried out an operation for the Thalmor? Well, yes. I suppose so. It's rare, but not entirely unheard of. And these prisoner transfers are usually led by you Imperials. But I'm warning you. You had better not be taking me for a fool. I swear I'll kill you if you are. Of course you're no fool. That's why I'm confident you'll follow this order. Yes, perhaps you're right. Erendil has made several unusual transfers lately, so this is not totally out of the ordinary. Prisoners coming in, prisoners going back out, could make a lesser being go crazy. Very well, Oronar will escort you to your prisoner but you had better not tarry. Get your prisoner and leave. All right, officers. This way. Might have been a trap for a minute. What are you waiting for? Kill me! Do it now! Come on, kill me now! No, I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to slice you open bit by bit and make you eat your own flesh. <laughs> and then I'm going to put you on my rack over there for a nice little stretch. <laughs> Geno, stop that immediately and back away. This prisoner is being transferred to the embassy. Back away? 
I'm finally making some progress and he's just about to break, and you tell me to back away? Have you gone mad? I will do no such thing. Oh yes you will, and you will do it now. You can take up your grievance with Erendil. Now step aside. This is madness, I tell you. Madness! I was given specific orders to interrogate this prisoner, and that's exactly what I am doing. Damn it, Gaynor. We have orders from Ellenwyn to transfer this prisoner. Now back away, or you're going on report. Uh, very well, then. But Arendelle will have your head, not mine. You may release your prisoner from his shackles and leave at once. I advise you to move quickly, as my friend can get a little testy. All right, I'll be on my way then. Yes, I suggest you do that immediately. Are you cost? Please. Thank you. Let me... Let me see if I can walk. So dizzy. Alright, well... What are you looking at, you Nord dog? I should have just killed you when I had the chance. What? General, I'm warning you! Can we Stop. leave? What was that? What the hell? What the oblivion? Alright, enough of that. Of course, you found some armor. Good. Alright, here's a key. I don't know if I need any elven armor in the... Dragonborn Gallery. I'm just gonna leave it because I could end up getting over encumbered. Oh, excuse me. Alright, come on. Is someone there? Aha! Yo! No! Mm, that hurt. Oh, there's someone else down here. What was that? What? How did anybody hear me? Hey, I'm not bad. Aha! Found you! Alright, get back. Here comes somebody else. I'll end you, your miserable life! What is that? What the? What's going on? What's this with the oh, it's you? Get him. That's it, get him. Guess we can go up from here. Oh. All right, now don't push me. 
cow. I'm so oh, of course you push me so that I'm stuck. What is this? Apple cabbage. Not my favorite. All right, this way. Someone huh? there. What? Huh? Get him. Oh. Get him. something that I need to do and I hope you're gonna be all right with it oh I've never seen such a I don't know open-minded group of people Let all these bodies go to waste. Hopefully they'll think that a werewolf got in here and killed everybody.
let's get out of here. before like everything has been cleared out. Okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you two! What the hell are you doing here? By Dallas, we are lucky to be alive! Valerius sent us to find you, and bring you home. Did you think we would let you rot in here? I didn't know, Falco. I thought I might die in this stinking place. I don't believe I know this person with you. Who is this man who fights like a true warrior? <laughs> well, you're being uh, too Trevor, kind. and a new friend of Marcus Janus. Of course, you won't believe it. Marcus is in Skyrim. Marcus Janus in Skyrim? You must be drinking too much meat again, Farco. No, it's true. And he's back in Helgen with Valerius. Helgen? I bet Valerius never saw that one come in. <laughs> <laughs> Why is Marcus here? I'm not sure, but something about rebuilding Helgen, I think. Of course, we can talk about that later. We need to go. Yes. Let's get out of here before any more of those Dalmor maggots show up. Perhaps our new friend will lead the way. We will be right behind you. Alright, well. Thank you for keeping watch. Out? Yeah, let's we're headed going. out. Okay, let's see. We are headed back to uh, Helgen. Come on. Valerius. Harbinger of the Companions. Word gets around, friend, and they're certainly fortunate to have you. Oh, so you know my secret now. All right, it works for me. I brought along some friends to see you. Sure's bones. I see now why Marcus has spoken so highly of you. <laughs> Quite impressive. Now, let's see if we can find out what in the name of Akatosh is going on in that prison. Forced. Thank the gods you're safe. But how in oblivion were you even captured? I don't know how they found me. It's like they knew exactly oh where I was hiding. I never had a chance to escape. Well, thanks to our new friend, you're okay now. Tell me what you learned. It's a prison, all right. And it's heavily guarded inside. Well, it was heavily guarded. There are none alive in there now. The Commandant was never there that I could tell. Did anyone mention where he was? I overheard the guards joking about him getting soft in their embassy, and spending too much time with some whore from the Tormas Tavern. But that's all I could hear them say. Did you learn anything else? Well, I didn't think much of it at the time. 
but I overheard the guard talking about how many prisoners were coming and going from the prison. And I noticed several new prisoners that probably get taken away while I was there, just like he said. They were not tortured, beaten, or starved either. I guess they saved all of that for me. <laughs> and wait. Yes, one group had a family, a woman and a small child, but he was not old enough to fight. The guard was joking about raping the woman mm. and selling the child to bandits as a slave. Could that be true? They are selling slaves? Well now, that's certainly a lot to chew on. Excellent work, old friend. I'll check and see if any of my sources know about any of this. Thank you, Korst. You go get something to eat and some sleep. I need you well rested. Dismissed. You've done me a great service, friend. You saved his life, and for that I will never be able to repay you. Is there anything else you can add? Um, no, I think that's all. Cost report was accurate. Did you hear anything about slaves? No, but the prison was huge, and Cost was the only prisoner. That is odd, isn't it? So it looks like the elves are up to no good. Huh. Where else to easily kidnap people than in Skyrim? All they have to say is that they're worshipping Talos. I'm sure many of these enforcers skulking about in Skyrim are under their command. I know you've had a long day and I won't keep you. We'll let you know when we have anything new. But please, check in with Marcus as soon as you can. Thank you again, my friend. No problem. Where, where is Marcus? Alright, come on. I could talk to you for a second. Okay, sure. What about? I just wanted to introduce myself, mostly. I'm Sienna. There. Formal introduction over. I feel better now, don't you? Okay, hello, Sienna. Tell me about yourself. Well, I like moonlit walks through the old ruins. Oh, so do I. I workshops and the feel of cold steel in my hands. Oh, I know that. You know, the same stuff as other That's women. right. You seem quite different than other women. I'm not quite sure how to take that, so I'll take it as a compliment. Tell me more about yourself, and that was a compliment. If you're wondering how I ended up with a bunch of old soldiers from the Great War, they saved my life. When the elves burnt our farm, my parents hid me in a basket in the woods. A basket? Balfring found me and gave me to an orphanage until the war in Hammerfell was over. Hmm. But he kept in touch through the years. And when I was old enough to be on my own, I joined them. He taught me everything I know about fighting and especially armoring. Say, from what I saw at the prison, you know how to handle yourself out there. But if you ever want any company, come and get me, okay? Okay. Oh, look at you. I guess this is how you keep in shape, huh? Running in place, running around with that heavy armor. I got it. Okay, um, where is Marcus Janus? Okay, I think I'm getting closer. In bed? Marcus Janus. Valeria said you wanted to see me. Snap out of it, I know. It's a, a nice, deep dream. Look at you. There we go. Hello. I praise the Nine you came along. Your help thus far has been invaluable. But it's time to make some difficult choices. Uh-oh. Valerius and I have spoken at length about this. We value your opinion. We need more guards for the hold, as there's only a few of us right now. 
were vulnerable to attack from several fronts, especially from the entrance through the caves as well as the two main gates. There is no possible way the laborers and carpenters can begin their work if they're not able to do so safely. We need more guards. All right. Um, could we hire them ourselves and remain independent? Yes. In fact, we prefer to remain unaffected by any outside entanglements or alliances. Not that we necessarily have anything against either side in this civil war. But we just think it would be best to remain an independent settlement. No one to answer to, no one snooping into our business, and most of all, no damn politicians to pull our strings. And it seems the Jarl Falkreath is occupied in his own matters, so it's unlikely we'll have any worries from him. Besides, he's abandoned this place anyway. So the way we see it, it's ours to do with as we please. So yes, this is exactly what we were hoping for. Are you absolutely certain this is what you want? Um, yeah, I have no affiliation or allegiances with either side of the Civil War. I mean, I'm not from Skyrim, so it's really not my fight as I see it. So, yes, I've made my decision. Helgen will remain independent. I hoped that's what you would say. In fact, I already had Patsy post some notices in a few of the inns here in Skyrim. Mm -hmm. So far, he's made it to Whiterun, Solitude, Riften, Dawnstar, and Windhelm. But he says he doesn't care for carriages anymore, though. Mm -hmm. I bet. Check around in those inns to see if our notices have produced any potential recruits. If you can find, oh, let's say, around five or six recruits, with the proper training from Korst, that should get us started. Have the recruits to gather in the courtyard, and when you're finished, report to Korst for further instructions. Good luck, and be safe. Thank you. All right, so we have recruits to look for. Oh, this is interesting. Making a Helgen hole again. What time is it? Okay. Almost six o'clock. Sun is coming up. All right, let's go look for our recruits.